like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So UFC Fight Night, Shamil uh, versus Jarzinho, Rosenstrike. Um, really good fight there, really. Um, Big Boy basically came out showing his jab. His jab was really on point for most of the night. Started sort of busting up uh, Shamil's face with the jab. Shamil was sort of sort of striking, um, putting Biggie Boy against the fence, sort of backing him up and then going in for a clinch. He did that for a few rounds, <clears throat> but then it seemed like the fresher fighter was Biggie Boy throughout the whole fight. I think as the fight was going on and Biggie Boy was connecting, Shamil sort of started to, his confidence started to deteriorate. Uh, to start his fight and confidence started to deteriorate, sort of shot by shot, round by round. Um, his face was pretty busted up as well because Biggie Boy's jab was on point all night long. Um, was a really good show in there. Uh, in, I think it was the fourth round. So fourth round or the fifth round I was going into, um, Shamil took a bit of damage, more jabs, and then after the fight, he was talking in his language. Um, <laughs> the, uh, not, they didn't translate it on TV, so they translated some of it, but we didn't actually know what they were talking about. I didn't, they didn't actually translate all of what he was saying when he was on the floor. On the floor, they was only translating what I believe the coaches were saying. What well, jab use wrestling, but um, Shamil was saying more than that, and it wasn't translated, so we didn't know what he said. And then <clears throat> Mark Goddard did a good job there because. Um, it looked like uh, Shamil was protesting um, whether to carry on or not. So Mark Goddard sort of just got in there and was like, listen, what his, don't start the fight. What was he saying? Has he retired? And then uh, basically they were saying he couldn't see out of one eye. I believe he couldn't see, he said. So um, they stop the fight. Um, so TKO retirement in, I think, the fourth round would have started the fifth. Um, so, yeah, that gives the TKO, TKO retirement to Jarzinho. What's next? Um... I think when fighters win a fight, you should call your next shot. I think it's always good to call your next shot because even if you don't get the fight, they're pushing you towards that uh, sort of um, that area, that sort of spectrum in the game, the hierarchy. If Jairzinho had said, yeah, give me Tom Aspinall, they wouldn't have gave him Tom Aspinall, but they would have gave him somebody up there. That's what I mean. Um, but uh, Jairzinho said he's going to chill, go back, he's going to recalibrate and then come back um, and fight probably July, August. Who should he fight? Um... He could fight Derek Lewis. I saw, as soon as I came on here, before I came on here, I saw some social media, uh, Derek Lewis. That's a pretty good fight. Um, uh, who else is there? Volkov. I think he's fought Volkov before. I think he's lost to Volkov. I think. But that uh, you can do a rematch there. Um, there's that. Um, what about Sergey? Go straight to the top. <laughs> straight to the top and fight Sergey. He just fought for an uh, interim championship. So... That's a big fight. If he can get that fight, that's a big fight. And obviously, Sergey is a dangerous guy, but doesn't mean Biggie Boy can't get it done. But let's see what happens. And also, I did predict him winning. So, so you can trust my picks. I did predict that Biggie Boy would win that fight, so you can trust my picks. But let's see what happens next. But congratulations to Biggie Boy. Great victory there. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment.